Welcome to the DiNardo tutorial series. In this part, we present optimization workflows within OptiSlang inside ANSYS Workbench. The tutorial starts with an optimization on MOP. Afterwards, the optimization will be applied in the reduced space of important parameters. For completeness, an optimization in full space is shown at the end. The example task shall be to minimize the response of a nonlinear analytical function with five parameters. The limits are plus and minus pi. The optimization scope contains no other constraints. In order to accomplish the task, the optimization module within OptiSlang inside ANSYS Workbench will be used. At first, load the existing project via the open function of the main menu, which is based on the first tutorial, Sensitivity Analysis. The meta model of optimal prognosis was one of the results of the first tutorial. While using the surrogate, no solver evaluation is necessary. The approximation is used instead. Drag the optimization module onto the MOP result box and let it drop. Parameters and criteria are linked automatically from the sensitivity system. Within the following dialog, choose Evolutionary Algorithm Global and Accept. Now criteria need to be defined. Open the criteria dialog by double-clicking on the corresponding box. The task is to minimize the response, so drag the response WB underscore Y to the list of objectives and keep the criterion min. Confirm with OK. Double-click on EA to check all optimization settings. Because all evaluations are made on MOP, no real solver run is needed. So we can raise the number of calculated designs. Set population size and archive size to 100. And maximum number of generations to 100. Confirm with OK. Update the EA cell. Wait until the algorithm converges. Now double click on results to open the post processing and optimization mode. The OptiSlang post-processing for optimization gives an overview of the results, the design history as well as the input parameter values of the best design. The best design has an optimal set of input parameters which are shown here. The results depend on quality of surrogate. A validation of the detected optimum shall be done via recalculation. For that choose Validate Best Design via the EA context menu. Only one additional solver call is needed. Click Update. The post-processing can now be updated, and it shows the comparison of the approximated and the real calculated results. The real evaluation differs slightly from the approximated result. This is caused by the accuracy of the surrogate. Now optimization in reduced parameter space with real solver calls will be shown. The optimization is done only with the most important parameters which were found through sensitivity analysis. In contrast to optimization on MOP, we now use real solver calls. Drop a new optimization system. Choose ARSM algorithm. Press OK. Open the parameters context menu and import the parameter settings from the MOP sensitivity analysis. This prevents you from re-entering the parameter bounds. Open the parameter settings by double-clicking. As a result of the sensitivity tutorial, the parameters WB underscore X4 and WB underscore X5 were found to be less important. These are set automatically to constant. OK. To define objectives and constraints, edit the criteria cell. Use already defined objectives by import criteria. Confirm with OK. Double-click on ARSM to check the defaults. We keep the defaults of the algorithm. Update the ARSM system. Wait until the algorithm converges. Now open the post-processing. The optimization history is shown over all designs and iterations. The best design is highlighted. The input parameters of the best design are shown as well as its response. To complete the tutorial, the optimization in full parameter space with real solver calls will now be shown. For that, open the parameter settings of ARSM by double-clicking. Set the parameters WB underscore X4 and WB underscore X5 as not constant. OK. Now reset the ARSM module via the context menu. Clear generated data. 
Afterwards, update the ARSM module. Wait until the algorithm converges again. Now take a look at the results. The OptusLang post-processing proves that the optimization results of the important parameter are the same in reduced or full space. Keep the results for a later tutorial. This will be the robustness analysis of the best design. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, take a look at our homepage.